Who makes sure that doctors are providing quality health care? State medical boards are charged with protecting the public from unprofessional and incompetent doctors. In Ray Williams addresses the discretion of a medical board to determine the standards of professional conduct that doctors must follow. Dr. Donald Williams offered patients prescription drugs as part of a weight loss treatment plan. Each patient was prescribed a stimulant, either bifetamine or obitrol. Williams prescribed the drugs for periods ranging from seven months to several years. The Ohio State Medical Board promulgated a regulation that prohibited the use of those drugs for weight control. When Williams learned of the rule, he stopped prescribing the medications. The board charged Williams with failing to exercise reasonable care in prescribing the medications. The board claimed that Williams failed to conform to the minimal standards of medical practice because he prescribed the medications for long-term rather than short-term use. At Williams's disciplinary hearing, the board introduced the physician's desk reference entries for each drug into evidence. These entries directed that the drugs be prescribed only for a few weeks to treat obesity. The board presented no testimony or other evidence regarding the appropriate standard of care. Williams presented testimony by two experts. Williams's experts explained that there were competing schools of thought on prescribing stimulants for weight control. The majority believed that the drug should be prescribed only on a short-term basis. The minority believed that long-term use was appropriate if monitored by a physician. The experts submitted that Williams's adoption of the minority approach conformed to standard medical practice. The board found that Williams didn't conform to a reasonable standard of care and suspended his license. A trial court reviewed the board's order and found that it wasn't supported by substantial evidence. The Court of Appeals affirmed. The board appealed to the Ohio Supreme Court.